Guys, what up? Perfect weather for a knuckleball video, and that's what we got for you today. Let's go. videos out there you gotta be asking yourself why is team Golaremi adding another Ooh. one to the mix well it's because what we do here at Golaremi is simplifying if you truly want to learn something you've got to break it down to its core components and focus only on that so that is what we have for you today these are the only things you need to focus on when you're trying to learn the knuckleball follow these steps and train like crazy and you will have yourself a sick knuckleball Choose your stance. I'm comfortable standing almost completely to the side and Lassie approaches the ball from dead on. This is because we both strike with different parts of our feet, which we'll explain here in a second. Choose the stance that feels most comfortable. You're gonna have to test them out to see what works, but once you've got one, stick with it and do not change. The goal here is to prove to you guys that learning the knuckleball is a matter of consistency and repetition rather than some special secret that only a few people can understand. No more than six and as little as three. You can see Lassie takes a bunch of small steps before he gets going, but the main run-up is virtually always the same. Don't think about it at first, just do what comes naturally and then take note of what you've been doing. After a few shots, if you tend to take four steps, then count off four and stick with that for a while before you try and adjust. You've gotta allow yourself to get into a rhythm if you really wanna figure this out. Second most important part the strike. Where and how to strike the ball are crucial. And we got two different styles for you. Notice that Lassie hits the ball near the middle of his foot and I hit the ball a bit further up near the toe. Both of these styles are great to get down because even if your shots don't knuckle, they might dip or even do both at the same time. I want you guys to practice both styles and then choose the one that feels best to you. And then you know the drill guys. Stick with it so you can start feeling comfortable. No matter what anyone tells you, this is the most important part of the knuckleball. End of story. All the other points are nothing but set up for this moment. And if you follow through the same way you would normally shoot, it's not likely that you're going to get much knuckle. So focus your attention on snapping your leg forward. It's not all the way through. You want to swing with power, but you want to cut it just short. Minimize your follow through. Tighten your core when you take the shot. You want to limit your body's movement. Not completely stiff, but what you want to do is centralize all of the power in your foot. Quick recap, choose your stance, choose your steps, choose your style, minimize your follow through, and just stay consistent until you're balling. <laughs> 